subscribe aim aim i and get the latest technological updates every day also press this bell icon so you won't miss any of my latest videos hi guys welcome back to aim aim i so guys in this video we are going to learn about the last type of annealing that is diffusion annealing so guys the alloy steels in gots to reduce the dendritic and intercrystalline segregation so this increases the susceptibility of steels subjected to the brittle failure okay due to the dendritic and intercrystalline segregation so dendritic is nothing but the having like you know branch like structure so this is something like just like similar to trees okay so to reduce that the diffusion annealing is carried out which is also known as the homogenization of steels so guys this dendritic structure okay this reduces the ductility and the toughness of alloy steel so in order to increase the ductility and the toughness we have to do this diffusion annealing and which reduces this particular dendritic structure so hence the larger castings are homogenized in many cases so guys let us understand the process of this diffusion annealing okay guys uh, so there are three stages guys mainly as we have seen in our last videos so the first one is the heating so followed by the heating the holding stage is carried out and the last one and the third one is nothing but the cooling stage so this is similar to the full annealing or the process annealing also so the first one is heating so this process in this the heated up to it is the steels are heated up to 1100 to 1200 degrees celsius which is at the highest temperature in the heat treatment at this temperature the composition becomes homogeneous and the grain structure becomes equalized the second one is the holding so this is keeping at the constant temperature such as uh, constant temperature for the period of something around uh, 8 to 20 hours so it it is very time consuming process guys so this time depends upon the composition of steel basically the composition also and the mass of the charge okay and the last one is the cooling process so guys in this cooling which is done at normally at the room temperature guys so guys this is the image which is clearly shown such as the process diffusion annealing stage okay guys so let us understand the applications of the annealing process so guys this chart shows the applications of annealing like in which uh, application which kind of annealing is suitable suppose the application is of steel castings the properties which gets disturbed and the type of process which is used it is shown in this table such as this for steel casting having non uniform grain structure and a dendritic structure it is get altered by the process of full annealing so guys you can uh, refer this chart and you can understand the various applications of uh, annealing okay guys so you can do this so applications so guys uh, we have learned in this video the process of diffusion annealing we have seen the three stages in the diffusion annealing process and we have seen the applications of various annealing processes so guys we have completed annealing over here thank you for watching my video guys please do subscribe to my channel mmi thank you guys